Joining us now, the 2020 Heisman Trophy winner. We don't know his next NFL team yet, but he's a member of Team Old Spice. Devontae Smith here with us. Devontae, welcome back. How are you, pal? I'm good. Thank you, man. Give me the one word that describes how you're feeling two days away from finding out where your football career is going to continue. Uh, relax. Well, bam, relaxed. Okay, that's good. All right, so uh, that means somebody that's confident in, in where they might go in the draft. Um, all right, I mean, l let me ask you this. I'm just as a pure fan. I've been wanting to ask you this just a little bit, just with the Heisman Trophy, all right? What point during the year, because it's such a quarterback award, what, what point during the year did you look at it and go, I, I got a chance to win the Heisman Trophy, or I, I'm a legit contender here? Was there a moment that happened? Um, I'd probably say after the Arkansas game, after my own pro return. That that was the game where you said you thought that it, it it was the jump off point. Yeah. All right, I'm checking out it's, your stats in that Arkansas game. So, yeah, all right, so wow, okay, so do you think that that you you didn't have a lot of receptions that game, but you thought the punt return helped do it. Yeah. All right. It's fitting that you want a quarterback award because you wear a quarterback number, and now. At the next level, you can take six with you. The fans have to know, Devontae, when it's time to buy the new Smith jersey, is it going to be number six? That's what I hope. You, you know, if it's not, what's your second choice if it's not six? If, if six is already taken with the team that drafts you? Um, Probably three. Damn, so he's going single digits all the way. Why, why six and three? I, I've never heard you really answer that. Uh, I wore three all through middle school and high school. Okay. And then what, you just went, I'm going to get to college and be twice as good, and I'm going to go to number six? <laughs> <laughs> three was already taken, so I mean, six was the next thing. Okay. All right. All right. You know, I'm always interested, Devante, in like, you know, just like peel back the curtain for people who watch the show. We talk about Nick Saban. We talk about you a lot. Like, what is it like being coached by him on a daily basis? Like, the energy, the things he's taught you? Just give us a little clue there. Um, I mean, it's great. Just, I mean, he's the best at what he do. And it's just like you get the opportunity to be coached by the best and just to see how he views things and see how his mind thinks. And, I mean, once you talk to him and just get an understanding of why he acts the way he acts, it's – Basically, like, he's doing it all for the right reason. Hey, you know, Sims is going to eventually ask you this if I don't, but I got to know, do you have the outfit picked out for Thursday night? Give us an idea. Give us a preview. Give us a, a sense of what you're going to be wearing when that name gets announced and we see Devontae Smith officially as a member of the NFL. Oh, uh, it's going to be a surprise. You just got to wait and see. <laughs> Oh, so we're going to – oh, okay. So there we got photos of you. We got evidence of you dressed up. Oh, here we got a little double-breasted. Nice. I like that. That's that's classic. Oh, little, like, volunteer orange here with the black uh, uh, the black turtleneck. Man, oh, look at you. Damn, versatility. That That's impressive. All right, I like it. So I'm expecting something good along those lines. You're definitely going coat and all of that. All right, so – all right, we know you dress good. Have you bought anything worth a damn yet? Like anything good? I'm talking like, you know, real good. Cars, money, watch. What are we doing here? Nah, I, I, nothing at all. Nothing at all? You chicken. No. I can't believe you. Jeez, all this money Old Spice going to be giving you and all this. You haven't bought anything. Man. Hey, Devontae, uh, how much time oh have you spent? How much time have you spent thinking about which team you're going to play for next? Because it's not up to you. You got to wait and see who picks you. D do you have some thoughts as to where you may go? No, I just let it. Everything is going to plan as it's supposed to go. So I mean, just sit back and just let things flow. Um, Slim Reaper is that right? The Slim Reaper is that what you're called? That's what that's that's the word on the street. Where'd That's that come from? Come on, <laughs> let me hear it. Let me hear the story behind it, Slim Reaper. Um, I honestly don't don't know who was the first person to say it. It just like it just kind of came up. I just I posted something on Instagram and just 
the comments. That's what everybody was saying. So who was the person that first person that called me that? I have no clue. All right, well, I'm gonna I'm using it. I'm gonna use it for now on. So just so you know, it's, we're gonna make it stick. Hey, Devontae, make, make sure you get your lawyers to register the trademark before Sims does and start selling the jerseys. You need to get paid for it, not him. Um, who, who is it that you look up to the most in the NFL that you want to be like when you get to that level? Um, I would say Keenan Allen. Ooh. Why is that? Um, just the detail and everything that he does, from his releases to his route running, just his overall understanding of the game, I mean – just everything he he does, I vision myself doing the same thing. I vision myself as the same player. Yeah, the route running. I could see that. I could see why why you like him for sure. Um, you know, I, I want to just switch gears to like a little bit about your quarterback, right? Have you been paying attention to some of the backlash about him being picked at number three? I mean, people – sounds like some people might jump off bridges – like, what, what do you have to say to defend, like, Mac Jones if he were to be picked at number three by the San Francisco 49ers? I mean, the resume speaks for itself. We're not out there throwing the ball to ourselves. So, I mean, he's a great quarterback. He's a great guy. One of the first guys in the building, last guy out. So, I mean, why everybody's doing this, I don't know. But, I mean, apparently they couldn't have been watching too much football. Yeah, exactly. Apparently, right. Hey, Devontae. Tell us what you got going on with Old Spice. Um, I'm proud to partner with Old Spice. They're committed to helping guys build confidence to reach their true potential. And um, they partner with Big Brother, Big Sister, who's put a spotlight on mentorship. And like myself, I have a mentor, and um, it's helped me a lot. So just people that need mentorship, need mentors to help them get through the things they get through. You, know, you can visit BigDraft21.com to learn more. That is awesome. We've been big Old Spice fans for years, and I've always been a believer in Big Brothers Big Sister. It's great to see two great groups like that come together. Devonta, I got a question for you. And before I ask you, let me tell you this. We we are on Team Devonte completely. We yeah. don't think what you weigh when you get on the scale means Jack Diddley, you know what. You're a great football player. People I talk to around the league can't wait to see what you do. When you went to Indianapolis, did you know they were going to put you on a scale? Yeah. Do you got a problem with the fact that that number got out? No, nah, not at all. Because, I mean, I, I know what it is. It don't bother me at all. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> you, you really – I love that you're not bothered by it. I could tell that from day one. Like, you, you don't sweat one minute or, or, or stay up at night at all. But, like, you got to be sick of answering this damn question, right? Like, can you give us, like – an example, and again, don't tell the team or anything, but like, is it, you know, is this always come up in every conversation with the team? Like, uh, tell me, like, how they approach this subject with you always. Um, honestly, not many teams really said anything about it. You had some th teams that just say, like, they're not worried about it and things like that. And so I'm just asking, like, how I go about it. But um, overall, nobody re really had, like, big concerns over it. Okay, that's good to hear. Do, do you have a concern that, like, if you would put on 15 or 20 pounds just to shut people up, you would give up too much of your game? No, I mean, I don't, I don't think about me adding weight. I mean, it comes, it comes. I just go about it as and it is what it is. I don't think about adding weight at all. Yeah, I, oh, all right. So you're, you're not worried about it. It's not something that you're looking at towards your career and going, I'm going to put on. I mean, because I always thought, like, don't put on weight. Because I don't want, I want you to still run four three. That's that's what I worried about. But you, you, you know, you don't seem to care either way. You're just going to continue to be Devonte Smith, huh? That's right. That's right. That's damn right. That's right. He's going to yeah. be Devonte Smith and show everybody what the hell he's got. That's right. I like it. We're on your team, man. All right. I want to ask. I wanted to ask you a follow of this before. All right. And I know you got to go, but like the Nick Saban stuff. For, like, Devontae Smith, how did he treat you? Does he, like, is he a needler? Like, does he needle you, like, and tease you and tell you things you need to get better at? Or is he just up front and in your face? I mean, how did he kind of motivate you and approach Devontae Smith? Um, it was kind of both. I mean, when needed, he, he'd get on me just like he'd get on everybody else. But overall, I mean, he's a funny guy. I mean, 
he jokes with everybody. He gets on everybody. He doesn't treat nobody different from the next person. So, I mean, he gets on me. He laughs with me. He jokes with me. Just all depends on the situation. Yeah. Devontae, last one from me. Best advice you've gotten to prepare you for what's coming and who gave you that advice? Um, Just continue to be myself. I mean, I've had a lot of people tell me that. Just continue to be me. What's got me here? Just keep doing that. Hey, that's great advice, and it's definitely worked for you. It's gotten you to the Heisman Trophy and the brink of being a high first-round pick in the 2021 NFL Draft. We congratulate you on all your success. We're very excited to see where you're going to end up, and thanks to you and to Old Spice and to Big Brother's Big Sister for making you available, Devontae. All the best on Thursday night and beyond. Appreciate it. You're the man, Devontae. Hey, rookies, all rookies got to send us free Old Spice gear, okay? So just make sure you get that in the meal, uh, in the mail, all right? Come on, man. <laughs> I got you. All right, man. See you. Good luck. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.